Welcome everyone, this is Virginia Parsons, your Hangout Mentor and the host of the Inspirational Business Women Show. I'm thrilled to be here today with my special guest, Allison Heath. We have some really exciting things to talk about in the area of health and health education and how to create multiple streams of income using your passion. She has so much experience to share with us, so I'm thrilled to bring her on in just a few moments. I want to thank you for being here today. I hope those of you from the United States had a wonderful holiday weekend, that you were with family and friends, and that you filled up and are now feeling full, fat, and sassy, and I hope you had a great weekend. So I'm pleased that you're here today live. You know, the Inspirational Businesswoman show for me is my passion. And the whole reason being is I just love the idea of bringing together my sister and brother entrepreneurs in a way that they can support and uplift one another. So what we're here today to do is provide you, the entrepreneur, with a gold mine of entrepreneurial tips, strategies, and advice to grow your business from inspirational business women in the know. I would love it if you would just share with us where you're hanging out from and a little bit about what your passion is all about because I do truly believe we can create a collaborative of entrepreneurs who can help uplift and inspire each other. So go ahead and share your passion where you're hanging out from and I really appreciate your taking the time to be here because I know how busy everyone's life is and especially now as we get into the holiday season. Now today after the show once we finish the broadcast, we have what we call the after show. I'd love to invite you to come inside and join us so you can say hi, uh, ask any questions you might have of Allison as well if we don't have time for them in the show. So be prepared. I'll put the link out there for that in just a little bit. Today's show is sponsored by Hangout-Marketing.com. And at hangouts.marketing.com, you can receive a free Hangout Marketing Assessment. And there, it'll only take you a couple minutes to take. You're going to get some guidance on how you can use Hangouts on Air to grow your business so you can reach new heights of visibility, social influence, and success. Now, if you'd like to take advantage of that assessment, all you have to do, it's real simple, is pick up your phone and text the word SUCCESS, S-U-C-C-E-S-S, -S, to 307 Two six nine two zero four zero. Once you take that assessment, you'll be receiving uh, results and giving you some guidance on that, and you might even qualify for a free strategy session with me. So I hope you take advantage of that. Now let's bring our guest on. Today's guest is Allison Heath. Allison, I'm just thrilled to tell you, was one of my early mentors when I was learning about Hangout Marketing. And she already had such a wonderful knowledge base that she really helped inspire me. And that's a lot of what how I learned to use Hangouts in ways that I didn't know were even possibilities in my business. Now for Allison, she is the longevity rescuer. And I'll let her tell you where she got that name and how she started to be called the longevity rescuer. But she has been a health educator for more than 25 years, creating such programs as the Easy Natural Facelift, the Longevity Toolbox, and Awaken Your Healing Powers. She is also the executive producer of two Hang On On Air shows that are in the form of summits, which we'll be talking about today. She is the executive producer of your Vibrant Health Secrets, thus we got the name for today's show, Vibrant Health Marketing. She's also the producer of the EMF Summit. So today she's going to share her experiences with you about how to turn your passions into profits. We're going to talk about creating multiple health education income streams and also some strategies that she has used to create some very powerful and well-received summits in the area of health education. And finally, how she's grown her audience and grown her market around using affiliates and sponsors. So we've got lots to cover. Without further ado, let's bring Allison on. Say hi to our audience, Allison. Well, hello everyone, and a quick shout out to Molly Youngblood Geiger, who's joined us from Florida. Uh, you know, you share uh, an interest, a passion that both Virginia and I have, and that's using Hangouts on Air. So it really is fun. And hello to everybody else. I'm delighted to be here. 
Well, thank you, Allison. We're thrilled to have you here. I know I think of you as more than a coach. I think of you as a friend. It's been such fun to follow all that you've been doing in the area of health education. So how about giving our audience a little background today on how you got started as a longevity rescuer and you know where your passion has taken you over the years. Okay. Well, becoming a longevity rescuer was really easy because um, it was a name that was given to me by one of my clients. He was 87 years old when I met him. He had a stroke and he was in the process of rebuilding his life and what an amazing job he did. He was a fantastic artist and when he was 94 he was chasing me around my couch um, trying to kiss me and he was saying you could tell everybody a 94 year old is in love with you. So you know he really did uh, recapture his vitality which was pretty cool and uh, you know becoming a longevity rescuer it was all about, again, my own passion because I turned my own health around. I cured myself from two supposedly incurable conditions and I saved my leg from amputation. So, you know, the doctors were convinced after this accident that my leg was coming off. I was convinced it wasn't and it didn't. So, you know, it's, it's really amazing because I discovered this food, this wild Aphanosomenon floss aqua that allowed my leg to start healing. And it just went along like a, a little merry train because my life doesn't have any plan. My life is all about joy. It's about having fun. It's about not taking anything too seriously. So, you know, I like to keep entertained and I really love change. Somebody taught me numerology recently and I keep coming up five, five, five. It's all about change for me. So, you know, this is, this is, fun because I get to do things whatever I want to do. I can work all day in my pajamas. I can do whatever I want. I really love this type of, of building an online business it has been a lot of fun and it's been interesting too because there's been some challenges and a recent challenge which I'll tell you about that sort of segues into uh, one of the summits that I created. So Virginia, you are a friend. <laughs> I feel like it. I mean, really. And, you know, we're going to pause for just a moment and say one of the brilliant things about Hangouts on Air is that you develop such amazing deep relationships just via this technology. And yes, Allison and I have met in person, but it wasn't until we formed a real bond using Hangouts on Air. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, it was so much fun because of all of the people that I was coaching to, to use Hangouts. You were one of the star pupils. I mean, you were absolutely outstanding. Uh, so your ability to just pick up new technology and grasp it is pretty phenomenal. So hats off to you. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's talk about how you took this passion. Then, I mean, helping a 94-year-old. I love it. First of all, the scene is fabulous. 94-year-old chasing you around. <laughs> wanting to kiss you because he felt so wonderful. I mean, isn't that an incredible passion in itself to realize how you can help people at any age feel better? Uh, it just absolutely thrills me. So let's talk about how this all evolved into online marketing and you know how it evolved in a way that you really learned yourself so many different ways to get your health education message out there. Okay, we need to create multiple streams of income. It's that simple, you know. Uh, nobody's going to start an online business and come out of the gate earning a seven-figure income. It's just not going to happen. It's going to take some time. Now, for me, one of the most important things is mentors, coaches, and so on. You know, I mean, you can't see what's going on when you're in the middle of it. You need somebody with a bird's eye view that can look down. And always look for people that know what they're doing. You know, that are success stories, that are doing whatever it is that you want to do successfully. And those are the people that are going to be mentor you, whether it's mentoring from watching what they do, or whether it's like forking out some big bucks to get mentored, or, you know, whatever. Whatever the arrangement that you make, it's worth making. So, you know, creating multiple streams of income is really important. 
Now, what I do, I know what I do has extreme value because it gives people the energy. It allows people to see the importance of maintaining vibrant health. Because if you don't have your health, if you don't have the genius capability that nature intended you to have, you can't manage all these balls. You can't keep all these balls in the air. And Virginia is a prime example because she really does walk her talk. And she doesn't even talk about it half the time. She's doing business training. And yet, she's like a total health advocate. I mean, she eats the right foods. She does everything. So, you know, this is really important. So I know that what I'm doing has value for everybody across the board. And so somebody asked me to create this little bonus for, for, for something that they were doing. And I thought, okay, longevity, rescue, or bonus, what could I create? So I created something called the Easy Natural Facelift. Ha! Little did I know that this was not going to be some little bonus product. It became huge. It became big. And it involved, encompassed a whole bunch of stuff. Then... You know, I thought, well, geez, I've got these course books that go with it. I'll put the course books up on uh, uh, Kindle and, and, and see how they sell. Well, they sell like hotcakes. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> and so then I was asked to be part of this video challenge. And uh, it was a 30-day challenge. So I used the 30-day challenge to market the Easy Natural Facelift program. And the Easy Natural Facelift program started, A, because I was asked to do this bonus, but also because one of my girlfriends told me that she was getting Botox treatments. And Botox are a neurotoxin, okay, that kill your brain. And I just thought, oh my God, you know, like, I'm 57. All my friends are reaching the age where they're starting to get very concerned about their face and their looks. So I thought, you know, this is a really sneaky way to get people healthy. So that's why I made it. And then everything just, everything just progressed and progressed and progressed. One of the coaching programs that I took, which was a really big buck program, it was $100,000 for a year. And I took this coaching program, and you know that did open some doors. It did give me a, a platform to be able to start a summit with really high-quality guests that had big lists. So my cutoff level for lists was you have to have 30,000 people if you want to come on to my summit and so on. So, I mean, these things all progressed in, in that way. That allowed me to do that. Was it worth it? It's really hard to say looking back. But I've had coaching from all kinds of corners and all kinds of people and mentoring and so on. And I'm just, it's just a learning process and a synergy process. And it really is all about doing the things that you want to do. If it's not fun to do, if it's overwhelming, if it's like too much to do, and so on, you really need to rethink it. But the most important tip that I can give you of any tip for creating multiple streams of income is leverage every single thing you do. So everything you do. Every interview you do, everything you do can be used in multiple ways. And I haven't even had time to do all the levering, leveraging that I can do. I mean, I have hours and hours and hours and hours of like really high quality interviews that could be turned into a magazine, that could be a material used for a TV show, and so on and so on. And just, it, the, it goes on, it's unending. So the thing is that you might be bored with your product but there's so many people, 7 billion people out there, and they haven't all heard about it. So, you know, you can keep you can keep on keeping on with stuff. And you don't have to become a serial uh, person that just, like, creates something and then shoves it out to the side and then creates something and shoves it out to the side and, and so on. You can really, uh, really leverage everything that you're doing in that way. So I hope that makes some sense. Well, it sounds like you started leveraging early on, and some of the key points that I heard you make are the importance of having a mentor or a coach of some sort that can help you learn all the different options that might be available to you. But then you started with one product, and I love the way you said sort of a sneaky way to get people healthy because you were talking about, you know, ego-wise, you know, nobody likes to look older, so we do crazy things like inject neurotoxins 
I, I say that with we. I've never done that. Never would consider it. I'll let the I'll let the wrinkles be there. Thank you. At least they're natural. But I love the way you just you sneakily eased into. I need to educate people. The materials there. I just need to find ways to put it together and then get it out there. And right away you were you were leveraging yourself. So um, the point is that we do need multiple ways of of exposing uh, the material that we create and that creates multiple streams of income in and of itself. So you started right away, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. And I already was doing it offline. Okay? So, I mean, I was publishing Success Stories in Vitality, which is Toronto's uh, largest uh, health magazine. And I was also, you know, asked, again, Synergy. Somebody had read my articles and so on, and I met them at a wine tasting party that I was invited to. And uh, this, this woman uh, was the executive producer of MD News Magazine, a magazine for physicians. And she said, oh my gosh, would you please do a regular column called The Natural Path? And I thought, what better way? You know, I just put out the intention to the universe that I would like to have go through physicians, to have physicians educated on superfoods and, and, and things that, that can be done to to help people really tap into their their natural homeostasis, their balance in their body. And there it was, plunk, dropped into my lap. So, you know, this has always been the case with me. And I have a real trust in the universe, a real trust in the universe. And I have a real desire to share my learning, to learn and share my learning. So, again, it's all about leveraging. It's all about finding the little cracks and so on. So, you know, how I met you, Virginia, for example, um, one of my favorite coaches, um, Lou Dallo, he contacted me about this uh, Hangout Marketing Challenge. And I was already using Hangout Marketing uh, or Hangouts, you know, and I thought, well, this could be very interesting. Uh, and I heard that Alex Mendocian was some kind of whiz kid marketer. And so I thought, well, geez, I, I want to learn from the best. So then I had the opportunity to be a coach for it. And I thought, Perfect. I already know about Hangouts. I know about coaching. I've been coaching people forever. So, you know, I just leverage, 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 leverage. And, and everything I've ever learned in my life is leveraged. So, you know, I have a lot of degrees. My first degree was in theater. What better degree could you have if you're going to put yourself out there? You know, it really gives you the ease. You don't have to feel like knots in your stomach about talking in front of people. And, and then, you know, another one of my degrees is in computer science. You know, so I have the ability to, to do like Molly does, you know, create websites and do all that kind of stuff. You know, I have the technical know-how if I need to do it. And, and you know, to be able to, to work with people that are doing it, you know, at least to have an idea what they're doing. And, and then, you know, another degree that I have is in business. So I have a major in marketing, a major in finance, and a minor in economics. All that creates a bundle. And that whole bundle allows me to roll this package down the hill and, and play, and play with some competence, you know? I love the idea of the bundle. Now I've got a snowball effect going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling down the hill and just accumulating and drawing more things that you can then share with people who are interested. Hey, I want to share, uh, Neil, thanks for being here, Neil. Um, saying, I'm hearing that we need to believe in our product, us and no others need and want it. That is for sure, Neil. That's a great point, and thanks for sharing that with us. Well, there's one thing I'd like to say to Neil, and that is you don't know that other people need and want it until they start telling you. And boy, oh boy, when you hit on the thing that they need and want, they start telling you, and it's just an overflow. And, and that's something that's happened with the summits, which we're going to get into too, you know, as a part of the summit strategy. Right now I'm sort of like focused on the multiple stream, okay? But the multiple stream also fits in with the summits because the summits are multiple streams. It's about curating knowledge instead of being an educator. So I'm both. I educate people with my own products, and it's good to have your own products for sure. But I also curate by gathering other people's knowledge together and giving them a platform to talk about it. Well, so. let's go on and talk about the um, EMF Summit in particular because there you're talking about a need you didn't know about until yes. you ended up having your own sensitivity to electromagnetic radiation and has created a whole educational summit about that. So let's share about that with 
our audience. It is huge. I mean, this is huge. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. This is by far the most important, if I can even use the word important, work that I've ever done. It's the work that has the greatest impact because really the uh, proverbial S-H-I-T is hitting the fan big time. We have a major overexposure to electromagnetic fields right now. There are cell towers going up. There's millions of cell towers going up every week worldwide. It's insane. The telecommunication industry is earning six trillion dollars. That's a T, trillion dollars. I mean, this is really big. And people are getting sick because we have our own little electrical system. We are electrical beings. And we're getting thrown out of whack by all this stuff. And particularly entrepreneurs that are working on building their products, that are working on the computer all the time, that are like constantly, constantly, hours and hours. And when you're an entrepreneur, you can put in an 18-hour day easy. And when all that stuff's happening, people are getting really, really ill. The rollout of smart meters, all that stuff, I mean, this is huge. So I really did start to get very ill. I was in an apartment that was like beyond the beyond. And, you know, it, it, the, the meter measured up to 2,000, and, and this went over the 2,000. And, you know, you want to have like maybe 25, you know, and I was over 2,000. It was not a good situation. My and how long were you exposed to that, Allison? Uh, 2,000 as opposed to 25? I was out in six months. In six months, I had to move. Literally had to move. No choice in the matter. I was out the door. So, you know, that's just facts. I hear a little echo. Is there something going on there? I don't know why, but I'm hearing a bit of an echo. Anyway, hopefully you guys aren't hearing it. If you are, say something in the comment section. And uh, I'll plug in a headphone or something. But anyway, you know, this, this really woke it up for me. I'd heard about it because obviously I was in the health field. I knew that that electromagnetic radiation, there were people that were hypersensitive. I thought, ah, this is psychosomatic, you know, whatever. Or, you know, I just sort of tossed it off. It didn't hit my radar. But then when I thought I was having like a stroke or a heart attack, I couldn't even remember my passwords, okay? And don't forget, I have a degree in computer science, and all of a sudden I couldn't even remember how to use email. And I thought, oh, my God, something is so wrong here. And again, synergy. I was doing a youthing workshop in the lobby of my building, which was so beautiful. And uh, I went to the organic food store, had a little poster that I put up on the wall about my workshop, and I met this lady in there, and she was telling me, she was like super into health, and she was telling me that she had, uh, couldn't come into my building to come, to attend. I said, why not? She said, well, because I'm electromagnetically hypersensitive. I said, huh? She said, your building's too dirty. I said, what? You know, because it was a clean, luxury building. And she said, it's dirty electrically. She said, I can't go in there. There's too much waves. There's too much wireless and stuff. Anyway, I said, why don't you come in and talk about this? And she said, well, I'll come in for 10 minutes. So she came in, sat down, did her talk, and then split. And I was, like, astounded. It was like, jaw drop. It was like, oh my God, there are all the things I've been going through. Oh no, this is what this is all about. So I had somebody come in with a meter measure and that's when I found out that this place was off the map. It was separated by a storage room. There was dirty electricity. There was Wi-Fi. There was so much stuff going on. And I foolishly had given up my landline because I had bought my first cell phone, my first little iPhone in order to do this app. And so anyway, I thought, well, I don't need to have a landline and all this stuff. And I was doing everything wrong. I had wireless going on and stuff. So I became sick. I thought, okay, time, it was perfect because I take the summer off from your Vibrant Health Secret Summit. So I just stepped back. I went swimming every day. I gardened. I did all this stuff, grounding myself with bare feet all the time and so on and so on. Started reading everything I could find written about electromagnetic radiation and I escaped I went to to the home of those people that were electromagnetically hypersensitive and I stayed with them for the summer and of course they had this library full of all this good books then I started contacting people I went to a meeting about smart meters and how dangerous they are 
and all this stuff. And the doctor that was talking at the meeting, it turns out he was the doctor, his patient was Dr. Magda Havis, who's like one of the world-renowned people. And then, so he said, oh, I'd love to do an interview with you. I'll contact her, blah, 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 blah. And then everybody introduced me to everybody else and so on and so on. This was a summit that was the first time ever done on this. So not only did people bend over backwards to help promote this, but, you know, I made an affiliate possibility available to people that they could promote it and receive funds for it. But so many didn't even want anything. They just wanted to get the word out. They put, they put it everywhere, all over the world, Liechtenstein, uh, you name it, you know, every country imaginable on these little websites, South Africa, there it is, you know, a link to the summit, which is going on right now. And it is absolutely phenomenal. So I was coming from a place of service, but also self-serving service too because I wanted to learn and find out how can I deal with this. And, you know, it turns out that if you're just at the beginning of it, you've reached some intolerance because you've been overexposed. If you start avoidance and you start practicing the right hygiene, electromagnetic hygiene, immediately, you can sort of pull yourself back from the edge. But if you go over that edge into full-blown hypersensitivity, there isn't really a way to come back. It's, it, you're, you're, you're done in terms of being able to live in the world without a great deal of discomfort. People have to become, uh, you know, they have to go and they have to live in like West Virginia in this area where it's protected for this telescope and so on. And so there's no cell phones, there's no anything. You know, it's, it becomes really, really difficult. So you want to take care of that beforehand. And that's why people were so interested in the EMF Summit. I really hit on something. Well, you did because of your own personal discovery of, first of all, the exposure to it and the intolerance. You know what's interesting to me, Allison? I've been aware of this topic for, good gosh, maybe 20 years. It has to be maybe 15 years ago that I ended up uh, bringing with me when I moved to Reno a great big special copper tube that actually was designed to put into the earth and help your whole home from electromagnetic um, exposure. I now hear because I'm in a townhome. I have it right in my office. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've worn things around my neck. I know that those are maybe less sophisticated than what they have today, but it is something I've been aware of for a long time. But I have a feeling there's a lot of people not aware of it, and you yourself, even though you were involved and in, in passionate about health, uh, did not realize you had this kind of sensitivity. So I can only imagine the number of people you've drawn into this summit because of their own intuitive sense of, this stuff's got to be affecting us somewhere or another, especially when you think about cell phones and holding them up to your head and the radiation that could be passing through. Uh, you're doing a real service. Isn't it wonderful that the service that you're doing is also able to, you know, provide a cash flow for your business? Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, it's that particular one is... Um, it's, it's not a huge, huge, huge cash flow. It's more informational. I wanted this to be an informational summit. Your Vibrant Health Secrets, each person has an offer that they're making. So there's an affiliate for each individual, which is a different scenario. But, you know, the thing about this is you know that you've really touched on people. You've you, like Neil said, okay, know that, that you've got a product that people want. Well, I knew that I had a product that people wanted when I've been answering almost 3,000 emails, okay, because when I do a summit and people sign up and they get their thank you letter for signing up, my thank you letter says, geez, you know, if you've got a moment, let me know where you're from and what your desired outcome is for this. Well, I was getting pages and pages sometimes written to me about the people's lives being destroyed, literally being destroyed. You know, marriages, homes, everything, jobs gone, and so on because of this electro hypersensitivity. And, you know, we're looking at right now 57%, that's 57% 
of, of, of the increase in the inability to reproduce a healthy baby. Okay? So, you know, that's 57, it's actually 57.7%. So think about that. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to become extinct as a species if we carry on in this way. And there are people, excuse me, <coughs> there are people that are industry shills. Their job is to troll the internet and so on. I mean, it's just bizarre. They're so, they're using that $7 trillion. Goodness. <coughs> You talk for a minute. I'm going to get Yeah, back. take a break. And, okay. and first of all, uh, I want you to know that you, you can get information from Allison on the EMF Summit. It's very easy. It is emfsummit.com. So make sure that you go there and check this out. She has um, done a whole series of, of interviews already with experts in this area. And I think you'll find them all fascinating. And uh, there is a bundle that you can actually purchase so that you can listen to them over time. And, and otherwise, you can get them free as they're going out. Is that right, Allison? Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, I'm even going to be re... I'm going to open them as, as like a surprise gift over the holidays. So the last one is on autism. It's Dr. Margaret Herbert who is from um, Harvard University, and she's researching how autism is affected by electromagnetic, uh, by EMF, you know, electromagnetic fields, and the damage that that's doing, how that's actually causing and aggravating um, autism. So, you know, autism is rising exponentially like that, so is our exposure to EMF radiation. So this is really serious heavy-duty stuff. And, you know, the biggest gift I can give you is to, like, highly recommend that you go on that, that. Just go on the summit. Get educated, okay? Get educated before you have a problem. Don't wait until there is a problem. And, you know, so many people buy things thinking, you know, they'll buy some little doodad and they'll think that that is going to protect them and so on. It really is avoidance. But you need to, you need to know about it. If we don't start putting something out there. There's a movie called Take Back Your Power. So tomorrow I'm interviewing the uh, director of that, Take Back Your Power, and boy, that is such an interesting movie. And you know, he's done this thing for, for the listeners that they can get five bucks off of the DVD or they can stream it for a dollar. I mean, for a buck. This movie is just mind boggling. So, you know, you can see how passionate I am about this subject, okay? I'm like, really passionate and that's how it turns into monetizationable and when I say you know it's not a huge income that's because I didn't want to have sponsors I didn't want to have people selling their books and doing this and doing that I didn't want it to be a salesy thing I ended up getting sponsors I, I've had people contacting me to become sponsors and so on and all kinds of things going on that's really interesting. So, you know, it, it, it grows. It just grows and grows and grows. And so it's kind of like follow your passion, do what feels good, play, have fun with it. Don't take yourself too seriously, you know, and don't be afraid because everything you're scared of now, you look back down the road five years ago and it's like, oh, my God. I was afraid of that. Like, what? You know, I mean, really, just just play with it. And, you know, there's so many people that are out there faking it. They're faking it till they make it kind of thing. And they're broke, and they're trying, and they're struggling, and they're having no fun at all. You know, or they're just buying one program after another program after another program and just throwing money, like slapping money at the wall kind of thing. That's really not where you want to go. You know, so you really need to find your passion and, and have fun. I think that's the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the real broad message here is to be playful in whatever it is you're passionate about and your playfulness will come out and that's all to the benefit and will attract more people as well. And even though the topic that you're talking about with EMF Summit is a serious topic, there's no reason not to find the playful side of it as well. And that way, People, as I say, will be drawn to you and what you have to offer. Uh, boy, we've gone <laughs> easily over our 30 minutes, but I think the topic is just very important, Allison. Uh, I'd like to, in a moment, we're going to um, 
we're going to head to the what I call the after show in the green room but uh, I'm going to go ahead and post here what the address is to go ahead and join us Allison do you have any last uh, comments for our viewers as I get that posted go ahead well that kind of was the last comment you know but in truth I think more than anything everything should be able to tie together and that's how the synergy works so for example the EMF Summit is a personal interest, but it also ties in with vibrant health because you need to raise your immune system in order to be able to do that. Everything is the same message. My message hasn't changed. And it's really funny because years ago, I drew out this little tree, and each of the leaves of the tree was something, a program that I was going to be offering. And, you know, I had that stuck somewhere as a background, and I looked at it the other day, and I went, oh, my God, I'm doing it all. You know, and like I said, I haven't had this big long plan. I've just been doing it, and it's it's all coming to fruition. So you know, I mean, so that's another message. You have a passion, go do it and share it with the world, and you'll draw to you just the right people who will be interested, and also will draw you toward other people that you can connect with, and that's how you create that snowball effect down the hill, right? <laughs> yeah, and don't be afraid to ask for references. Don't be able to be afraid to ask for people that if they know people that might be interested or if they can help you with whatever your project is don't be afraid to ask people love to help yeah, well that's a great final word people love to help I hope you found this show helpful I think it's fascinating it's always been helpful to me as has Alice and I want to thank you for attending today please go ahead and like this show and share it with people who you think might benefit because you know what so many people have to see this in Replay City. We'd love to have you comment and send it out to other people who would benefit. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Allison, for being with us and sharing a fascinating topic. And please come on in and join us in the after show. Bye now.